gonna give you a very in-depth tour I mean an in-depth guide and this will definitely help you in any future endeavor you need money you hate your 10 hour job or whatever seven hours there's the key to being a millionaire and it's simply by doing this one simple thing being a vlogger you ever heard of this thing called talent did you hear about talent do you ever hear that no because there is none on YouTube uh, not a lot you can't really see a lot of talent in my channel there's it's it, it's very rare to find you have to you have to look through all this piles of uh, let's play a play in a video game part 206 uh, look at this cringy man he made a bad video I'm gonna call him a faggot and welcome back to top trends number 15 Burger King foot lettuce the last thing you want in your Burger King burger is somebody else's foot fungus but it turns out that's my what you get oh shit I messed that up you tired of that you tired well, too bad there you're not gonna get any and if you want money on YouTube you just you just gotta be a vlogger it's very simple one get a decent quality camera at least 720p Two, look rich you need to look rich so you may need to either have a smaller house but put in bigger cooler things such as a stereo system or a big TV or a nice couch uh, three, you have to, it, it's ideal that you have a family or a girlfriend, so it's not just you. And four, brag about all the things you have and make your life seem really fun by only filming the fun things you do daily or weekly, depending on who you are. This is the best thing to do on YouTube. The most preferable thing to do is to always name the last word in your channel Paul and that's what I'm gonna be doing for this week for Monday through Friday I'm gonna be cheese man Paul I'm gonna see how many subscribers I get so I'm not gonna be uploading any vlogs just having Paul physically in the name let's see if that does anything anyway when vlogging you really don't need any you don't need to make too many jokes you just you know wake up and say oh this is me I just woke up uh, I'm going to make some coffee, and then I'm going to smoke some weed, and then I'm going to go over to the store and buy a bunch of stuff and flex in front of everybody that I have a lot of money. Uh, if you don't have a lot of money, you just go out and look at stuff, expensive stuff. You talk with friends, record yourself driving around, just doing fun things. And then, obviously, now that we've gone over how to be a vlogger, we're going to be talking about the negative consequences of being a vlogger. There's obviously one thing, is that if you're a family vlogger, and you're vlogging the fun things you and your family are doing every day, imagine a young child about the same age as your children, living in a less opportune, a less fortunate family. And they see these videos, they're like, oh wow, this is cool. I, I wish I lived like this. I, I really wish I lived like this. And this current thing of, these people have it great. I'm seeing them doing great things every day. My family hardly even feeds me. Man, I really wish I was in that family. And this cycle would repeat over and over and over until... Lots of sad thoughts, probably. Obviously, this is kind of not controlled, but it is a risk fa factor when making a fl family vlogging video. Besides that, just also flexing or showing off things, people are going to be like, Oh, I wish I had that. I've probably done things in the past that people were like, Oh, I wish I had something like that. Maybe, pr probably not, let's, let's be honest, but just saying. I mean, but this is most apparent with vlogging because, you know, unlike if somebody has a nice house and you only see it in one video or two videos with a family vlog, you see them in their house every single day, going to expensive places and doing fun things every single day, 
and they look at their day and their day consists of sitting in their room with slow internet watching a family have fun it, it, it's kind of depressing imagine that just watching other people enjoy themselves while you yourself just sits there and wallows in your own self pity anyway I hope you found this guide to being a, a millionaire pretty successful I've been thoroughly, very, very inspired by this new YouTube ad where this guy's like, uh, you, uh, I bet you're tired of working that 17-year-long job. You want to go to Paris, Beijing, North Korea, all these other places, but you don't have the money. Obviously, being a vlogger is very tasking takes a lot of your mental sanity so that's just another warning anyway guys that's the video if you liked it you can like if you didn't like it you can dislike anyway after today it's Tuesday it's gonna be the second day of the five days of cheese man Paul thanks for watching What is this man doing with all these women? I mean, wouldn't your dick be sore at the end of the day if you just fucked all of them? Kind of... Fuck. <laughs>